Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jetta TV. I am J11. This is Football Manager 2022. This is the for Chemical Challenge with Biramar, and we've just had our youth intake preview, which looks promising, to say the least. Though I say promising, it may not be promising in the areas we want it to be, but I digress. We have an excellent intake apparently, with one of our goalkeepers looking like a great prospect, one of our centre backs looking promising. We have what looks like a top prospect in the centre midfield. We have at least one fullback that has plenty of promise, when there's two of them, and we also have one winger that looks like a very handy prospect. Both the wingers and the fullbacks looks like they can be on the right hand side of the pitch, so that's interesting to say the least. Unfortunately, it doesn't go much better from there though. Defense midfielders, they don't look like they're top of the first team. Attacking midfielder pipeline looks to be below the required standards. Strikers look to be a bit short of the required standard up front. And there are, isn't going to be a lot to like in the wide midfielder position, while the wingbacks, there's nothing to even talk about at all. So, yay! We've got some good things and some bad things. Whether we can get them to work the way we want them to or not, I don't know. But still, that's the youth intake preview. It looks okay. It's not amazing, but I'm still willing to work with that and hope for the absolute best. We've also had a few gains since we last met because we're now in December. So how did we get on since we last met? So the first game we had was at home against Penafia and we went behind inside 13 minutes after Everton plays us in the middle, finds Ruiz 1-0 to them. We do get an equaliser thanks to a long throw from Paredes. A long throw where it completely bamboos the goalkeeper. Pinto was to get the goal, but then the defender heads his own net. Then Everton scores from the penalty to make it 2-1. And then it's 3-1 after Costa's ball is found by Medana. And Medana has got the easiest job of the world. And that score. So half time, it's looking very bleak. Then they score again to make it 4-1. And I'm thinking, wow. We are not turning up today. Especially when in the 57th bit of the game, they get a fifth. I can't remember the last time we even got beaten in this fashion. Brunel with the finish. Yes, we do get a goal back to make it 5-2, but I can't remember the last time you can see them five goals, let alone lost in that situation. Paratas with the finish there, but it was so shocking to me that we lost by that many goals and we can see that many goals because for some reason, we just didn't turn up. Adsen had a 5.9. Loreo had a 5.9 despite the fact he's wanting to leave. He's not putting himself in a very good position for the um, market if he wants to leave. If he's going to be forming that poorly, surely that's not a good sign for any future buyers, right? We then took on San Giornese and we scored from the corner. Beretto with the finish. The only goal we scored in this game. And they actually looked like they could be causing us problems at times, which... For me, it's concerning, especially when you realise they had an Aberrach student, we did. And that's a sign of the fourth tier, so we did not look ourselves in this game. And we're through the fourth round of the Tata de Portugal. We are through the fourth round of the Tata de Portugal, but still considered to say the least. We then hosted Pormenens, and we lost after we considered this goal in the 35th minute of the game. Gabriel plays in the middle, finds Zhao Nuan, and yeah... Not a good game, not a good goal for us, and they win 1-0, so despite the fact we had the bear XG, the bear shots on goal, our shots on target was so poor that we didn't we really get anything out of it, so disappointing result to say the least. We then went to Canales 2010, and this was one of the most boring games I could ever actually talk about. I'm so glad I did not do this on a live comp. Nothing really happened, there was just one shot on target in the entire match, and that was from us. Not ideal. We then went to Gondomar, and we took the lead inside 31 minutes, so... Antonio finds Sandova, Sandova finds the back of the net. Good goal from him, he needs that kind of goal to really get his confidence back up. But then we consider the goal in the only fourth minute of the game, and they had two goals ruled up at this point as well. And when Pinheiro scores that finish, I was thinking, they got a completely hat-trick of goals that's allowed? No, it wasn't to be. So maybe I was just pushing my luck a bit there, and yeah, I just felt disappointed that we could not make it another game where we could win, but it could have been worse. We then went to Lusitiana La Rosa and inside the first 20 seconds we considered this goal. 70 seconds it took for Bentel to score the opening goal. We equalised though in the 60th minute of the game. And at one point I actually thought we had a chance when Akende scores his first ever goal for us. Good finish mind you. But then we went to extra time and same thing happened before. Bentel scores in the very early, uh, no it's not Bentel. It's Azaria and 13 seconds this time. 
They scored in the first half of extra time. We then went down to 10 men as they got a second yellow card and we lost. So, yeah, it's not ideal. They also missed a penalty, so that's a thing that happened. So we really shouldn't have got to that stage in the, in the first place. But yeah, Ben Till misses a penalty. It Not only did he miss, he actually hit the outside of the post and then it went wide. So one thing awkward for us, but okay. We then hosted Mufra and this game was great for us as Correa finds the opening goal 40 minutes in. So we lead here and I'm thinking, okay, Mufra have never beaten them. I think we've lost against them every single game before this game. So we had to do something here. So when Furtado scores the next goal to make it one all within a minute of us scoring the opening goal, I thought, okay, we could do better than this. Then Correa scores this in the 70th minute of the game, and I thought, we could win this. We have a chance. Then they had a corner, and they scored. 87 minutes in, 2-2, final score. We dropped two points here as far as I'm concerned because I think we should have done better. We had nine shots on target too, and we just didn't take our chances. It's annoying, but... They always had 10 shots off target, so might tell you all we need to know in regards to that. We could at least have done better with this, surely. The next game we had was against Pogarius, and we took the lead inside four minutes. Manatre with his first of the season. I was happy. Then Breda finds Mr. Junius, and Dover finds the ball. He finds Antunes, he finds the back of the net. Keeper for this one, he couldn't keep it out. 50 minutes in, we're 2 0 up, and I'm thinking, this is great. We're going to win this. Then Pogarius decides to actually score. And Rodrigo's effort is just really good. That is probably the best goal you'll ever see scored against us. And then they score from the corner. And Rodrigo shot his blocks. Then Vente scores. And I thought, oh god, it's going to go against us. Thankfully for us, three minutes later, sentiments in. And Tony scores again. And he's won the game for us. So, the man who's literally been so poor this year has decided to finally turn up and actually score a brace. And we win 3-2. Santa has still got the player of the match award because he got two assists for that. But yeah, we won and the stats say we shouldn't have won it. So I'll take that 100% right away with the points. Especially since that's our first win in seven or eight matches in the league. And I wish I was joking, but I'm not. We then went and hosted La Suez and we took the lead inside 39 minutes. Correa finds Sandova. He does that. In off the post. Really good finish from Hugo Sandova. And I thought, okay, this is good. Then he collides. Free kick. Again, it feels like when their players are getting there first, it's annoying. But yeah, 67 minutes in. But then we did lead once more. Marcio plays it across to find Sandova. It's shot his blocks and then Correa scores. If people do not to us, I'm doing that to them. I'm going to say that here and now. I don't care what people have to say. I will take those four goals any day of the week. And yeah, it was enough to get us the win. So we've got two wins in the last two matches. And actually now I've gone five games unbeaten, despite the fact we've not won in seven or eight beforehand. And those two wins were kind of important because we're actually looking at like at one point we're going to be in a relegation scrap. We still are technically. We're now looking closer towards the top half than we are the relegation zone. And I'd rather say that we have a chance of survival and we take on the team that's in 12th. Cover the Pedadi who took us, who knocked us out of the NN's Cup last amount. We took them on and I'm really hoping we can beat them because I'd rather not lose this game quite frankly. Since you know difficult to really decide what we can do with this it really is but yes i'm hoping we can win and i've actually added some things which was recommended to me and that was to actually use tight marking which sounds like a very anti ticky tacker thing but i had to do it anyway because i felt generally we're struggling if we didn't do it and we have gone for this lineup i'm actually probably going to rest beretta for this game because i know we're coming in instead but we're lucky that we got enough strength and depth in some areas now that we can literally just rotate the defense which is really wonderful and also, I might have forgotten to mention this, but I've actually let a few players of mine out on loan. Kavahas is out on loan. He's been on loan the entire season. I forgot to mention it because I didn't want to talk about him. Yeah, I'm that petty that I didn't want to talk about him. And he's actually done okay. One goal, one assist in five matches in the league with a 6.98 rating. So he's getting the experience he needs. He's getting first team football regular. So good for him. I also sent Fernando Alvarez out on loan and he's actually developing, it looks like. So again, a good reason to do it. He's plays in Mazzala normally, so... He's kind of perfect for the um, support role. Not amazing, but he's kind of what I need from a player who is going to play for us in the future. And Porto Andrade, inverted winger, inside forward. I think he's game first in football. He'll do well for us. So he'll do well for us and them. I hope that could be a thing we can work on. If way though, we're going to take on our opponents today. Um, Marcio's been an issue. 
and I'm going to show you this just to prove a point. Mars is not being really great with some of my players, and I'm been dropping him as a result. So he's on the bench more often than not now. I just don't trust Mars anymore to really do something productive, and it's annoying because he's got potential and he's got some good ability for the fourth tier. But he's got ability to do some bits and pieces for us, and he's just not doing the stuff for us. Also, Tiro Cassell is now wanting to leave. He's upset, and um, mm, slightly awkward that I might be able to lose him on a free transfer when he doesn't want to sign a new contract because he wanted the first team football. I couldn't promise him that, and he got and he started to throw up a little hissy fit. So awkward. Either way, let's take on our opponents today and get going with this. I've been talking enough as is. Ever corner as then takes it. So I think our short corners have been really good lately, and Menotay had a chance of misses. But we've changed our, sh our corner routine in the last video and they've started to work. It's nice. And hopefully we can get three wins in a row. Correa finds Breda, finds Casanova. Tight marking and forcing their opponents out wide has been really good for us this year now recently. Sendero finds Musa Jr. Finds Correa. Correa with chance. Oh, he's missed it. Okay, so corner. Brian takes it. And Manatrey's hit the bar. Again, and long throw. Adsan takes it. Um... I don't think I does the kind of person you want to be aiming for. He's only five foot four, or something ridiculous. But Casanova, Adsan. Also, I like the fact that you can see the long throws are not always working. They've only worked once so far, and Sendova's hit the bar again. How many times have we hit the bar now? Four times? Free kick now. Brian takes it. Sendova's hit the post. We've had so many chances in the first half. We've not scored. I can't believe this. We should be taking our chances. Come on, guys. Let's actually win this, please. I got the ball. I swear. If after all the chances we had in the first half, we don't win this now, I'll be very disappointed. This feels like a game we're going to lose right now because we literally didn't take our chance into a try already. Okay, Lorraine's done well. That's a good save. I don't know how we've not won this game, but we've managed to drop two points here. Disappointing result as far as I'm concerned. We do have a problem when it comes to scoring goals again, which is slightly awkward. I say that. We've been okay. We were unlucky. Any other time we would have won this game, 100%. But for some reason, today we just didn't win. And as far as I'm concerned, we should have won this game, given the chance we created. And now, the Saints actually beat Gondomar, so we're now only four points clear of the relegation playoffs. We are nine points clear of the relegation zone. But Gareth's actually get points. They drew against Mufra. That's not good from Mufra's point of view. Kananas actually didn't do well. Did they play? I think they've either played before today, or they played yesterday. I don't know. But Pedro made his debut and hopefully he can do well. But yeah, we should have won this game. The amount of chance we had this season in this game was ridiculous. And we're now six games without losing, which is nice. We've just drawn four of the six games though. We've only scored 14 times in 15 matches, which again tells me that we are struggling about that. And um, yeah, struggling for goals. In fact, we've only got 14 goals in 15 matches and we've scored eight in the last five matches. That's concerning. That in the other 10 matches, we've only scored 6 goals. We've got, we're creating chances, we're just not taking the chances. That's the problem I think right now we have. And um, hopefully that's not going to be an issue going forward. Oh yeah, Canales lost 2-0 against Akademoko, that makes more sense. But I'm going to end this here. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on actually whether or not you think we're going to be in a relegation fight still. Because I still think we need to worry about that. And we just need to start scoring goals and we'll be fine. If we don't start scoring goals, then we're screwed. But either way... I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys like and share this video and that you subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a lot. But anyway, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.